The Live Share extension for VS Code makes it easy to set up a collaborative development environment. Using it, you can browse through code together, make real-time edits, and even debug collaboratively. To get started, all you need to do is install the Live Share extension and then sign in with either a Microsoft or a GitHub account. So I've done that on two machines, Mac over here, Windows over here. And we'll pretend this is another user and say that I want to share this workspace with this other user over here. Now, all I need to do to actually set up a collaboration session is click on the Live Share icon down here in the status bar. And that will now set up a collaboration session. This is getting started, and now it has created a link for that collaboration session. All that is is an HTTPS link. So here, I can, here's the link, for example. I'm just going to take that link now in the second machine, actually go into the Live Share view here in the activity bar, and say, join collaboration session. I could also just click on this link in a browser or something like that to also join the session. So I pasted in my link there, and now I'm joining the collaboration session. So one cool thing about LiveShare is that even though I'm going to be viewing the code from this machine over here, I can continue using my own theme, my own local UI extensions, all those types of things. Now I've actually joined this session, and you can see that I am viewing the same code as on this machine over here. Now because this is a shared session, you can actually see where the other person is viewing, and this is all happening in real time. And if the other user goes and makes some edits here, you can see that those edits are also reflected in real time. This works both ways. So now you can see where the uh, other user is browsing through on the host machine as well. Now, even though the guest machine uh, started up in the file that was being viewed on the host machine over here, I can actually browse through pretty much any file in the workspace. So I can go and browse over into the debug folder if I wanted to, go open up other folders over here. My IntelliSense and those type of things, those all just work even though I'm in a, uh, this, is not, this workspace is not actually hosted on my local machine. It is all um, coming from this remote machine over here. So I get all those features even though I am in this guest session. So that's a quick look at the Live Share extension. There's a ton of other functionality it has. You can set up shared terminals, for example, do shared debugging, you can even share websites that you host in VS Code or that you start from VS Code. You can share those between the guest machine and the host machine as well. I find that Live Share is especially helpful uh, when you're wanting to quickly walk through a problem or for things like remote interviews. And now with so many teams being distributed and so many people working from home, Live Share can be really invaluable.